A pleasant morning to each and everyone. I am Geraldine Villanueva, BSE 4A English from Nueva Ecija University of Science and Technology, San Isidro Campus. And today, I'm going to discuss teaching of technology, teaching in technology, and teaching for technology. At the end of the lesson, I am able to describe global application of technology in the classroom and identify the advantages, limitations, and the need of technology in the classroom and in education. The teaching of technology is trend nowadays. According to one of UNESCO's study in 2013, information and communication technology is now viewed as a major tool for building knowledge in societies and as a mechanism at the school education level that could provide a way to revisit, rethink, and redesign the system of education that would fit the global society. Teaching in technology-based instruction requires that teachers be more than one step or one night ahead of students. The teachers who were born before the advent of ICT must retool themselves and be e-tech or tech compliant. Teaching for technology like the use of information and communication technology has become inevitably important, ICT gadgets and materials which include television, latest model of cellular phones, iPod, laptop, and desktop computers, internet, and etc. must be taught to students as part of their ways of life according to Woodward and Kanika 2007. Advantages of Technology in Education Easily access to learning material, e-books, revision guides, and past or incoming examination papers are examples of it. Continuous learning. With information technology in education, it is possible for students to keep on learning at any times of the day, wherever you are. Sharing of knowledge. Students from all directions of the world can come and meet, converge their ideas, share their experiences, Discuss issues or even solve problems at geographical distance are no longer a barrier technology serves as learners' platform. Learning aids. By using audiovisual materials, it became possible and accessible to put some practical aspects to the theory taught in class as students can develop a better understanding of topics as teaching can be enhanced by simulation techniques. Distance learning. It is now possible to attend a college and obtain a diploma wherever the learner is be, either in the province or overseas, and at the learner's own convenience. Proper record keeping. Because records can now be uploaded to the web, the prowess of information technology take care of the files which made record easy to access, protected, systematic, orderly, and free of manual or physical annihilation. Limitations of technology in education Access to inappropriate content Technology has its downside and one of them is how the student can effortlessly have access to inappropriate materials like violence and pornography. A disconnected youth It is a fact that when people, especially the youth, use technology, they are glued to their screens 24-7. Gaming and movies which are available online take learners time away from their family and friends. Cyberbullying trap Harassment is now become a problem in social media. It is being used by other people to harass, malign, and extort money to some gullible and gredulous victims. Cyberbullying had caused great damage to people victimized by hackers and strangers who were able to conveniently enter one's account. Inevitable cheating. Unfortunately, technology can also be a means to cheat, particularly during examinations. Cell phones have made it easier for students to cheat. A major distraction. Students' concentration in the classroom is severely affected when they use their cell phones or laptops without the knowledge of the teacher. Their focus on the lesson is completely lost, that the achievement of learning is unattainable. The need of technology in the classroom. 1. It provides the students the opportunities to fully prepare themselves for future careers since technology influences in the world 
of work. Two, it addresses problems in diversity of learning styles because of various resources and tools that technology. Three, it encourages collaboration among students and the chance to participate and exchange opinion with each other. Four, it gives the students more excitement and fun filled learning since the integration of technology in education stimulates their interests. Five, it provides facility of access to up-to-date information with availability of mobile technology. Six, it eliminates the traditional approach in the teaching learning because technology encourages learning that is student-centered. Seven, it helps students to acquire free information because of the accessibility to digital textbooks that are constantly updated and often more vivid, helpful, creative, and a lot cheaper than those old heavy books. Thanks for listening! Keep safe and God bless!